Hello, Motomoto Studios here. So today I'm coming to you with an update of the script that I uploaded about a year ago, or plus that even. So this script was um, really uh, well looked on and all that. I got a, a lot of my subscribers and views from it. So I thought, you know, I it's been a long time. I reckon I should do an update. So this was the uh, Flickr script, which is right here, and when my um, Mono develop loads, then I will show it to you. So, this script was pretty much just a script that simulated a light flickering or just different types of light pulses. Um, and it was a great script. Um, and it is, still is a great script at the time, anyway. So, and the update is actually right beside it uh, lightflickerpulse.cs. Uh, so, I completely changed my um, script writing and all that. I learnt it about a month ago or two months ago now. So I have a lot of views between the two scripts now. Um, and I do find uh, C Sharp to be a lot better. It's more enjoyable to script with. In a way, uh, JavaScript was great. Uh, but I guess it got really annoying sometimes. And C Sharp is just so much more better in so many more ways. So mono develop uh, has loaded now. I close these because I don't need them. So this um, was the original Flickr script. So it actually went just there. Yeah. So it was pretty short. Um, still is pretty short. So if I was to actually try and compress this, how many lines would it be? So that's pretty uh, compressed, I'd say. And it's around about 71, 70-ish lines, I guess. Um, and that's that's alright for a script, so I'm just not going to really bother about that, saving it. Um, but if I was to go over here, um, there has been a lot, I mean a lot of updates to it. So it goes on forever, and this is fully compressed in C Sharp. So I have changed up my style, as you can see, the way I write scripts and all that. Um, I've changed it up a lot, um, and I have certainly um, gotten better at scripting, I guess. So a lot is here, and a lot has changed with it. So I don't know. I, I reckon you will enjoy it. Um, it certainly it certainly helps me. There's a lot of great values they can use for it, um, and just some of them are absolutely brilliant. I've completely annotated all the variables so you can actually get an idea of what they all do. Um, some of them are hidden, so here, this one's a hidden variable and it's used for the outcome calculation, so private float x, y, and z, and all that. So I have annotated all of this, and these, if you don't know how to read code, I really do recommend you should. Um, because if you really do want to learn code, this is probably one of the best ways to do it, just by reading this. Uh, there's a lot of um, learning to be done with this type of script, uh, and it certainly did take a while to fully update, and I did get a, help, a little bit of help from the community as well. So it was absolutely brilliant. So if we were to actually go into the environment, this is an environment that I've been working on at the moment, so I won't be really showcasing it that much. Um, where is my player? Here it is. Hello there. Oh, here we go. Bees that I don't want to be uh, showcasing that just about yet. Um, that is still something that will come later, I guess. I'll move the player over here. Um, just to test it out. Here is the player. Um, looking really nice and fancy so there you go alrighty so I'm just gonna set up a light here just to show you uh, how much better it really 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 is alrighty so 
we are just going to go to the inspector. I'm going to float this flicker on. Oops. There we go. So here we have um, the wave function, base, amplitude, phase, and frequency. Um, and I had a lot of uh, complaints with this wave function here. Um, it was just way too confusing to put in a string and all that. So I've changed it up to be an enum. And what an enum is, it, it, it is a drop down box. I'm just going to throw this actually on it. Um, just so you can see the comp comparison. Comparison, I don't know. Like, just compare it. Um, I'll turn it off though because I don't want to double up the calculations. So, this is basically it the update and everything so you can really see that I have changed a lot on it the base was a little bit annoying I've changed that now the base is automatically stuck at 0 0.8 it should be 0 po just 1 but you know just it's automatically set to noise and all that so automatically if I was to start it off it'll give you a nice flicker effect um, straight off the bat so you can get this in the description um, and for a little bit of tutorial on how to use this, it is right here. So the first thing that um, you can do is throw it onto the light and instantly you're going to get a flicker effect. Um, not the best, but it is um, showing that the script does work. Okay, uh, That's basically all that it, there is to it. Um, so going downwards, we're going to go over the functions and all that. So use type. Use type is probably the most easiest thing to really get a handle of. Um, the, or the default value for this is color. And color means that's going to play it with this value right here. So the large white box. If we just play the... As you can see, the white block box is playing around. If I was to change color to intensity, say, it's going to start to play with the intensity. If I play with the range, it's going to play with the range. Um, and these are all just for different sorts of looks. To be honest, I really do dig the intensity, but the color has got to be probably the most best all around. After that, you have the different types of uh, wave functions, and we did cover this just before. There's sin, try, the whole lot, and it's right here. So going down, we have noise, which is uh, the flicker effect. Sin, which is a pulsating in and out that's uh, non-uniform. Try is uniformly pulsing in and out, so it's linear. Um, so sin, it's pretty much going to start off slowly fading, and then in the end, it's going to really fastly fade out. Try, it's just going to um, overall fade in and out at the same speed. Square is going to bump in and out, so it's pretty much just... Fl flickering turning on and off a light um, saw it'll fade in bump out and then this one will bump in fade out so there you have it now some of the big options which are here noise update pf and noise smooth fade noise smooth speed um, these are something that uh, I was asked of um, and I was asked of uh, quite recently, so I thought I should actually put this in. So at the moment, noise update PF, which is per frame, is selected as on. So if I was to play, the script is running that is pretty much running at every frame. So every frame, this light is changing. If I was to deselect this, you're going to straight away see that the flicker speed has completely dropped. And this is played around with the frequency. So if I was to drop this, you're going to see that it's going to run faster. Drop it even further. Now it's going into the negatives. It's ba basically the same as the positive. But if I was to put this up to 3, every 3 seconds it is going to uh, change. And um, although this may not be the best effect, this is very good. For instance, I will put an amplitude of, say, that. And then I'll turn noise smooth fade on. And I can up this huge. Yeah, it's definitely lower numbers. It hasn't changed for quite a while. So um, this is great for environmental scenes. As you can set the noise smooth speed um, quite low. Um, and just make it randomized over a period of time. Um, 
and it'll slowly fade in and out and such so as you can see as it starts to speed up um, we might just set this oh we'll just run it per frame so as you can see it's pulsating but slowly so it's sort of fading um, and this is a great way to have say a campfire or any type of environmental light natural light that pulsates um, but randomly so the next thing is time scale minimum so I'm just gonna turn this off so you can really see it at the moment I'm running at one time scale so the time scale is running at a solid one so I'm at 0 0.97 at the moment as it's soon as hours sorry for that as soon as I go over one it's gonna stop what this is is uh, if you want to pause the game if you have a pause function um, mine just sets it to 0 0.00 Zero, 01 or something like that or it just sets to zero I can't remember um, but if you do have a pause function like mine uh, it stops the script so and that is what you want it looks very blurry I'm not too sure why okay now nah. might have to turn down the blur I'm not too sure looks like it's just becoming a solid color all right well Let's not talk about that texture anymore. Um, and then we have, whoops, and then we have core base. So core base, um, as I said, it's pretty much just how dark you want it, how light you want it. You see, you can make things pretty crazy here, um, as shown right here. You don't really want to play with that. So, boy, I need to stop that. Next value is amplitude, and we've already covered amplitude. It's just how fast things pulse. So if I was to get a sin, sin is the best way to actually uh, show this. I could use try, but I prefer sin because sin looks really quite nice. So here it is. It's pulsating pretty fast. If I was to lower that, as you can see, it's going to slowly pulsate now. Actually, no, wait, no, sorry. Uh, that's frequency. Amplitude is how intense the pulse is. So if I was to increase the intensity, as you can see, if I was to lower the frequency, it's going to make it uh, slower. That's a bit too slow. Uh, let's increase it a bit. Okay, there you go. So the intensity is pretty high, but the frequency is pretty low. So... It looks really nice. Now phase, which is the next one, it's pretty much just at what time scale it is on. So if I was to increase phase, you can see that I can change its time scale and then I could go backwards, forwards and all that. It's not really much, um, but it is a public variable because you know you can play around with it if you really do want to be that specific. Uh, you can start the scene off with the pulse um, if it's a slow pulse, you know, you can notice if it's on or off. Um, and if you want to be very specific and have that pulse on when the scene starts to play, uh, then you can do that. So the one after that's frequency, which is just how many times it does it per second sort of thing. So, yeah, there you go. Now, another new thing is use outside light. And use outside light, it is a um, pretty difficult thing to explain. But really, um, I don't want to get any errors, so I'm going to pause it. Really, it's pretty much you can attach outside lights. Uh, so I'm attaching, I'm reattaching this light back onto it uh, so it would work. Um, oh, yes. Um, you actually have to restart the entire game to do it. But if I was to reattach this, um, it's still going to work. But oops sorry I didn't even select that button it's still gonna work but it's actually going through the hierarchy and calling it so that's basically that um, though you don't want to put an empty variable because empty variables are never good uh, so if I was to put none which isn't good you really do not want to do this as shown right here uh, you can get a error which 
has been made by myself. Um, if you do that, you get two errors with it. They're different. Um, and if you have a lot of these errors going off at once, then yeah. But that brings us to the next one, which is the last one, and that is display script errors. So this is pretty much errors that are self-made and stop the Unity engine from spamming you so you can continue doing your work, not getting spammed and getting low FPS. Um, but yeah, and my mouse is cutting out, so sorry for that. That's why you're getting a little bit of jitter in the hand movement and all that. Oh my god, why is my mouse cutting out? I don't know why. Um, so that's uh, really pretty much it. Whoop. My... I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think I'll stop it there. So that is a new Flickr script. Um, that was a tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great time using this script because I really do love it myself and it's giving back to the community. Um, with the what help I've got from it, uh, learning how to script and all that. So thank you for watching. See you guys later. Um, hope you see you next time. Bye guys.